Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at Substance Alchemist 2.1. This is actually known as Tiramusu and it comes with a couple of updates that you will probably want to see and check out. So the very first one has to do with the material. So for the material section, they've gone ahead to add a new set of startup materials that you can work with. Right now you can get the copper, cliff rock, you know, carpet floor, terracotta, wood fabric, and even rough cast materials. Within the basic material section that exists with the starter materials, you'll be able to check this out. And by now, if you've never seen this, we've already talked about Substance previously on the channel. The new version of Substance Alchemist also comes with some pretty cool parameter updates and there is also some very cool uh, filters that you might probably want to check out now just in case you have no idea how to get going with the filters or you haven't really used the filters before we're going to talk about how you can get going with this and how you can actually know what filters you should look out for when you get started at the same time we'll also talk about a very cool convenient filter that the guys at substance and also nvidia had worked hand in hand together to create and this is also known as the lighter so without further ado let's get right into this and talk about everything you need to know so first things first if you open up substance this is basically what it looks like so if you want to work with materials you can simply grab these materials and drag them directly here now within the place where you get to see as explore materials that you select or you drag right into this collection section is where you can preview these materials before you can engage them for creating PBR materials. By default, Substance Alchemist is used for creating PBR materials, which you can definitely use for your games and also for production. But it is also pretty cool to note that it is simply easy to start making these materials even without any previous knowledge of material design or material creation. So if you want to check out the materials before you proceed to start creating them, this is exactly where you can get these things. And also, for you to change any of the models that you're working with, or probably you want to set this to become a plain model you can access this by going over to this section which has to do with the viewer settings and you can change this to plane under the mesh settings within the explore section is where you explore materials before you proceed to working with them right here has to do with the camera displacement if you want to get more displacement amplitude you can punch this up and down so if this is what you're going for you can literally punch this up and if you want to get more displacement quality this has to do with the subdivision of the mesh which you're working with and the more you punch this in the more subdivision you will be able to get and the cleaner you get to see these meshes to be but once you want to start creating this stuff you would need to actually assign a brand new material to them or you can start out with a generator for our use case we're going to take a look at how you can bring in a material and proceed to work with this so for here i'm just simply going to click and load up a simple material that we've downloaded off the internet so this is a very simple material so once you load up the material in the bitmap to material has now been baked into substance alchemist that can can now give you the advantage of making materials automatically by just loading in an image so for the image which you've loaded in i'm just simply going to select this you can actually test out this ones yourself and click on ok and once we click on ok substance is going to go through analyze this image create the relative maps and the necessary maps that we need for this and give us a perfectly looking pbr material that is well tiled and you know we can simply use if you have issues with materials that you've downloaded off the internet that are not tiled and you want to tile these things we're also going to go through and talk about this so one of the cool things that you would now notice if you're working with the brand new substance is Right now, they have actually made some adjustments and also enhanced the Atlas scatter. So previously, you can actually scatter things around, but there is always a bit of discrepancy when it has to do with the height map blending from different you know, materials, especially when you're trying to scatter some Atlas. You can literally come through here and add filters. And if you have no idea what filters you want to work with, you can actually assess these filters by coming over to the section and clicking on filters. And you see the different kinds of filters that exist some filters are for final finishing while some filters are generators some are for processing you know your scanned images and some are just tools while the other ones are used for weathering stuff so weathering stuff consists of both splatter water you know a road dust and even dirt so that is exactly where the atlas scatter actually leaves so what we're going to do is to get the atlas scatter and you can get that by clicking right here or using the spacebar and once you press the spacebar you can type the word atlas 
and get atlas scatter so once you throw in the atlas scatter right here you can now scatter different atlas on top of your material so if you're wondering where you can find this atlas once you go over to the startup materials and click within the base material backwards you will now notice the generators which are known as atlas so you see all of these ones here are the ones that you can simply you know proceed and play with and you can go ahead and drag and drop them right here all right so with the atlas cutter here you can now simply go through pick out any of these atlases that you have loaded up from here or the ones you've downloaded from the internet you can go through pick them and drop directly onto the input section of the atlas scatter so once i throw this directly there you would now notice that it's going to scatter this around this object and you can see that here pretty cool and if you want to scatter a little bit more let's say we want to scatter the dry wood stick i can also bring this and throw this directly in there as well and you can now start layering things and start building stuff for yourself now depending on what you want to achieve at the end of the day you can choose to play with these things and also get some desired result now there's also some things which i really wish that you know by now we should be able to get with our alchemist which has to do with you being able to paint mask right now this is a feature that i actually wish that we can get in alchemist which doesn't exist and you know i really wish that it's something that can come to alchemist very soon so within the atlas scatter you can now push the scale of your atlas so you can push them up this way and you can also play with the way that this conforms to the background right now you can see that we have some displacement thing going on here which doesn't really look so cool but once we start pushing this you notice that this begins to conform to the background that we have you can also play with you know the position if you want to get some sort of random positioning you can also play with the random positioning just to get things going and within here you also get to note that we have a color from background uh, slider which can give you different hues and saturations and you know uh, values depending on what you want to simply create at the end of the day so the filters have also been improved a whole lot so for example let's say we want to throw in a couple of other things directly here and also start tweaking these things it's also very very interesting to see that you can do this but before we actually get going let's talk about the delighter so the delighter was actually previewed in substance alchemist 2019.1 and it has actually received a couple of love from the community and the guys from alchemist are actually working you know very very well to make sure that this thing really really looks good so once you're taking a look at a baked you know material like this there is something very very not nice that you get to see most of the times so most times once you bake out something like this you would notice that within the base color of your bake that there is a little bit of shadows so these dark areas are actually not nice because they do not really interpret what you're taking a look at right now if I'm moving this it is actually still dark regardless of where the sun is pointing or regardless of where our hdri light is actually looking at so this is also something that the lighter has been made to actually take care of so to get this going i'm going to hit the space bar and type the word the lighter and simply click right here and with the lighter loaded in because it's been powered by a neural network which is an artificial intelligence tool you would notice that it totally eradicates all of those dark spots and all of those you know soft shadows that we have that would ruin the entire image for us so from here you can literally get some very clean looking uh, bakes which you can now take into your game engine or into your dcc app of choice and by the way if you want to see how this looks like in 2d once you press your tab key you can see what it looks like in 2d once you tap that again you can see the 2d and 3d side by side or you can simply access those by clicking on this button here so now that we're taking a look at this in 2d it's actually very nice to see what the effect looks like with the lighter on and off so if i turn this off you can see that we have all of those very harsh or you know soft um shadows that have been baked into this and once we turn this on it totally cleans this out and you now have something like this that you can play with let's press tab one more time to jump right into 3d so there is also a very cool filter which you can still use which is known as crop so with the crop filter you can actually crop your entire image and get some very seamless looking stuff so for example let's say you want to crop this just to get some 
seamless looking image so with the crop filter you can actually go through and get a non-seamless image create your pvr materials directly here in alchemist and crop them to become seamless so that once you're exporting this or using this in another dcc app you wouldn't have all of those same issues while trying to work with the material you can even proceed to fine tuning this by throwing in some water just for reflection sakes and you can style these things as much as you want now a brand new feature that has also been added to substance alchemist 2.1 is the export preset so with the export preset you can choose to export to any dcc app of your choice and export to whatever renderer that this supports from unreal to unity arnold for maya and also v-ray so the list of things that you can export is pretty insane as once you go through to start exporting this you can still specify the file size that you want to export select the destination folder the, the name which you want and export these things and once you're done you can bring them into your dcc app of choice and also proceed with making some very cool stuff out of them and yeah this is definitely about it i'd like to know what you guys think about the brand new substance alchemist and the cool features that it now comes with tell me what your thoughts are about this in the comment section and of course if you want to get this right now substance is actually giving away a 30 day free trial to anyone who wants to use any of their tools as they've gone ahead to reset this and we did cover this in the previous news so do well to check that out and see how much stuff that you can get within the covid19 giveaway at the same time it's also worth saying that if you're trying to get into substance painter or you want to see how you can bring in your files from substance using udim directly in blender you should consider checking out the video which is going to be in the description which tells you how you can walk through these things and get going with that and yeah and if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to go through and hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until I see you guys again with a tutorial update free Friday tutorial Tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace